What is up, dudes? I know it's been a while. I feel like I start every single video that way, um, and it's because it's true. I think the last time I uploaded was about three months ago, but uh, I'm back. Sorry, again, for like the hundredth time. Today, uh, I don't know. I guess I'll just give you another update on the truck, um, what the future plans are. And I did actually pick something up new, which you guys will see first before anybody else on my social media actually sees. But we'll get to that towards the end. Uh, today, I thought I would give you guys an update on that thing, which I think you guys saw in the last video, the cap was off of the, off of the frame. Um, but I think on the last one, I don't think the frame was uh, sandblasted. Um, so let me give you guys kind of a walkthrough of uh, what you guys have missed. Here we have uh, the truck in its current state. Uh, the motor has been mocked up, which I don't think we got, we've seen last time. Um, and same with the transmission. Uh, so this is a CD09 out of a 350Z. Uh, it's using the Collins adapter uh, to mount it up to the small block Chevy. There's nothing on the inside yet. I haven't bought uh, a flywheel or a clutch or anything like that just because we don't really need it quite yet. This is really strictly just for mock-up. Now you guys might be wondering, uh, I, uh, why do I have the motor and trans mounted? I mean, that seems like something that, you know, uh, would be kind of maybe towards the end. Uh, the reason for that is because we need to know where the transmission is gonna lie so we know where to put the rear end. Uh, now I think I talked about it a little bit before, but originally we were gonna use uh, the rear subframe out of uh, Nissan 240SX, an S14 to be specific. Um, we decided to ditch that idea strictly because it's about six inches narrower than the stock temple that came in this truck originally. Um, so we wanted to find something a little bit wider. Uh, and there's, 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 a, there's another few good reasons why we, why we chose that. I'll talk on a little bit later, maybe in, maybe in other uh, videos. But uh, let me show you the new rear suspension. So here we go. Uh, again, out of a 350Z, this is the subframe. Um, it's got, it's only got one axle right now. The guy I bought it from um, didn't have the other axle. It is an LSD uh, diff that may end up changing in the rear future. We might actually weld this. We don't really know yet. Um, it's all completely stock. It's got the, str the uh, stock struts, uh, stock uh, lower control arms, which take uh, the stock coils. Um, probably not gonna end up using those. We'll probably go with a true coil over suspension setup for this, um, but we need, to know the location of where that's going to sit so we know where to put this so that way our driveline angles between the differential and the transmission are perfect so that's why the engine and transmission is currently mounted uh, we still got a long way to go we haven't even started play testing to see where that thing's actually going to end up but um, from just basic measurements we might actually be able to salvage uh, the stock frame. Don't know yet, we'll definitely have to notch it uh, for sure for the uh, control arms and the axles and everything, but if we can build mounts strictly off of what we have here, that's gonna make our life 10 times easier. That's kind of where we're at currently. Uh, a lot really hasn't been going on. Uh, Dan just bought this fun little toy, um, which uh, is another story in and of itself. Um, I'll give you guys a short little tour of that. It's actually pretty neat. We drove to, uh, actually we didn't drive, we took a train to St. Louis to pick up this car and then we drove it back. So let me take you this one. So for those of you who don't know uh, Japanese cars, this is a Toyota Mark II, um, also known as a JZX90. So this is a true Japanese car. It is right-hand drive, which is super duper neat. Um, Currently, we, uh, or Dan, just installed these new gauges. Um, this was definitely kind of like meant to be like a VIP car look, which we're gonna, we're gonna change up a little bit. Uh, this is gonna be more for like a, a street drift car, but I love these, I love these seat doilies. They even say like Mark II on them. That's my favorite part of this whole car. So this does come with a 1JZ, uh, larger, I think that's a whole set, uh, 35 I don't, I don't I don't even know I think it's off of a Cummins um, it's a pretty common turbo that they do on these builds uh, but uh, super super clean car 
I think it's only got like 47,000 miles, not kilometers, miles, um, total on the car. And it is, it is just super clean. Um, it's got a bit of a fitment issue with uh, some of the bumpers uh, or with, with, the, uh, with the lip kit. Uh, we'll be changing that a little bit. Um, otherwise, this thing is just super rad. It's got heat, it's got AC. We, uh, we also just put some underglow on it. Um, I turned that on for you guys. I think it's controlled by the phone and Dan's, Dan's not here currently. I guess the next step in the process is to mount the subframe. That's the next big step for this truck. Then the truck can actually roll around. Uh, we can move it uh, all sorts of places. It can be on its own weight. Um, but it's gonna be a while before that. Dan's got a few other projects that he's gotta finish up. Um, I do them myself, but I don't trust my fabrication skills. That's why the truck's here in the first place because Dan is a much better fabrication. Sorry, Dan is a much better fabricator than I am. Um, that's, why, that's why he's doing a lot of this stuff. Okay, all right, that's enough chit chat. Let's get to the reason why you probably clicked on this video. I bought some wheels. <laughs> I, want, I, want, I know what you're thinking. Holton, why did you buy wheels for a truck that doesn't have any rear suspension? And I'm not gonna lie. I asked myself that question as I was gonna go pick up these wheels. I don't need them at all. <laughs> I, I, don't, I have nothing to put them on. I can't put them on my 2500. These are just for, I know I'm gonna need them, it, eventually, I'm gonna have to build them, uh, so that probably gives you an idea. They are three-piece wheels. I'm just gonna shut up. Let me let me show you. Let me show you guys what I got. Oh, come on. Oh. There's a uh, Santosan. Oh, you ready? You ready? Check those out. Oh man, the specs are ridiculously weak. Um, these are 18 by eight plus 50. I mean, they are, they are who, they are questionable on the, uh, on the specs. They are definitely a flatter, a flatter face wheel. Uh, so plus 50, um, 18 by 8, the, uh, the inner barrels are 6.5 inches and the outer lip is uh, 1.5. The faces are powder coated, which is kind of interesting. I've never seen chrome powder coat before, but that's what the guy said. I don't know if that's true or not. The new hardware all the way around. It needs, uh, where's that? It needs some new rubber for the valve stems, which is apparently a pretty easy find. But these are gonna be, when the time comes, when this thing is all said and done, when we got the body on and all the body panels and everything, we're gonna mount these up and see what, what size uh, outer loops we need. So, <laughs> I know I don't have any rear suspension, but I do have front suspension. Um, and I think it would be, it would be just cruel to, to not at least mount them up uh, to the front suspension, just to, see, just to see what they might actually look like. So, I wanna set the camera down I'm gonna get uh, I'm gonna get this wheel put on, and uh, I think we'll probably end up calling it a day. Uh, okay, so slight change of plans. Um, I already ran into our first problem. The wheels do not actually fit on the front. Um, not because not because I bought the wrong uh, lug pattern, um, <laughs> but because uh, the studs on my adapters are too big. They're too thick. Uh, they don't fit. They don't fit in the uh, in the hole. What I mean by that is this hole right here is not big enough to fit this stud. So I really don't want to drill out those wheels at all. So I think I might uh, go online and see if I can find. Um, some different adapters. Only problem is, is that not a lot of people make five by five bolt pattern to five by one fourteen, which I guess I probably should have mentioned in the first place. These are not five by five wheels. Um, you cannot buy these wheels and expect them to fit on a GMC or Chevy uh, full size pickup. It's not gonna work. And I think you know what? <laughs> I didn't tell you the brand. So these are Weds. Cerberus tubes 
and uh, you can see on these nice and minty minty center caps there wets oh, I'm sorry wets crayons Cerberus 2 uh, with a bit of a mouthful but I love these wheels I've been wanting a set of these wheels for a while now I think the Japanese five spoke look just gives it that perfect like mix between Japanese wheels and American style so what I mean by that is one of the classic uh, American wheels are like uh, uh, torque thrust uh, is, is one of the big ones American racing makes a lot of uh, of uh, five spoke designs Ooh. the closest garage door. it's getting cold in here boys so uh yeah weds crans cerberus 2 uh those are the wheels and uh, they're a little hard to find they don't make them anymore um so parts are pretty hard to come by uh but they do make outer lips for these things uh, which I'm super thankful for because we're going to need those uh, for what we got in hand. Because um, I want to tell you, 18 by 8 is not going to cut it. It's not going to cut it for this build. It's just way too small. So we're going to go we're gonna go pretty big on them, more than likely. That is a bit, a bit of a bummer that I can't test with these wheels. But anyway, I think that's really going to do it for this video. Uh, hopefully it doesn't end up being too long. Um, one thing I do want to say before we, before we end uh, is if you guys want like, more detailed videos of like the front suspension um, we can go into like more depth on the front suspension why we did the things we did why we chose the parts that we did and when we start on the rear suspension maybe we can do more detailed videos on that as well but uh, yeah let me down let me know down in the comments like what you guys really want to see like I know this channel was really mainly focused on this truck but if you guys want to see like uh, like more content I think Dan and I we're gonna take this thing to uh, we might take it to Vegas uh, here in a bit not entirely sure yet that's not 100 percent set in stone but we do plan on visiting a lot more out-of-state events i'm talking like club loose texas uh might be going to st louis uh straight guard events for sure are gonna are gonna be going other other uh other events too um i'd like to maybe go down to a clutch kickers event mostly though mostly grassroots stuff i don't really care about the whole competition stuff but grassroots is really what we're what we're shooting after just awesome cars awesome looking cars great people and fun drifting that's really about it. But uh, anyway, that's enough of me talking. Uh, thank you guys for watching. And um, I'll see you on the next one.